Hey, it's Terry Gorry, and this is the Irish Law and Small Business Podcast. When a judge is going to grant a divorce in Ireland, and only a judge can grant a divorce, he or she must make sure that proper provision has been made for the spouses and for any dependent children. So what does that mean? What is proper provision? Firstly, in deciding to make an order for divorce, the Family Law Divorce Act 1996 provides that the following matters must be taken into account when making proper provision. A. The income, earning capacity, property and other financial resources which each of the spouses concerned has or is likely to have in the foreseeable future. B. The financial needs, obligations and responsibilities which each of the spouses has or is likely to have in the foreseeable future, whether in the case of the remarriage of the spouse or otherwise c the standard of living enjoyed by the family concerned before the proceedings were instituted or before the spouses commenced to live apart from one another d the age of the spouses the duration of their marriage and the length of time during which the spouses lived with one another e any physical or mental disability of either of the spouses f the contributions which each of the spouses has made or is likely to make in the foreseeable future uh, to the welfare of the family including any contribution made by each of them to the income earning capacity property and financial resources of the other spouse and any contribution made by either of them by looking after the home or caring for the family G. The effect on the earning capacity of each of the spouses of the marital responsibilities assumed by each during the period when they lived with one another. And in particular, the degree to which the future earning capacity of a spouse is impaired by reason of that spouse having relinquished or foregone the opportunity of remunerative activity in order to look after the home or care for the family. H any income or benefits to which either of the spouses is entitled by or under statute, i. the conduct of each of the spouses, if that conduct is such that in the opinion of the court it would in all the circumstances of the case be unjust to disregard it, j. the accommodation needs of either of the spouses, k. the value to each of the spouses of any benefit, Uh, for example a benefit under a pension scheme which by reason of the decree of the force concerned that spouse will forfeit the opportunity or possibility of acquiring l the rights of any person other than the spouses but including a person to whom either spouse is remarried they are the matters to which a judge will have regard pursuant to the family law divorce act when deciding what is proper provision in the granting of a divorce. If there's a separation agreement between the parties, the court is obliged to, quote, have regard to the terms of any separation agreement which has been entered into between the parties and is still in force. And that's pursuant to section 20, subsection 3 of the Family Law Divorce Act 1996. This means that a court will take a separation agreement into account but will still consider the fairness of the agreement and will amend it, if necessary, to ensure proper provision. It's important to remember that a court has a wide degree of discretion and can attribute different weightings to the factors outlined above in the particular circumstances of the case. Each case is unique and will be determined on its own facts and circumstances. Yep. There's an important case then from 2011 from the Supreme Court. It's a decision to do with separation agreements and divorce. The case is GVG. The Supreme Court looked at some important issues surrounding divorce and separation, including full and final settlement in separation agreements. 
what happens when one of the parties acquires new wealth after separation. The concept of a clean break in Irish law in divorces. Assets inherited after a separation agreement has been entered into by the parties. Exceptional changes after separation. These were the questions that the Supreme Court addressed and looked at. This case, this case GVG, is authority for the proposition that whilst there's no such thing in Irish law, Irish family law, as a clean break, it is a legitimate aspiration of the parties when entering into a separation agreement and or a divorce. Nevertheless, a settlement with a full and final settlement clause can only be varied in exceptional circumstances. Any application for further provision should only per be permitted if there is substantial change to justify the application. GVG also held that the assets which are inherited will not be treated as assets obtained by both parties in a marriage. The distinction in the event of separation or divorce will all depend on circumstances. GVG is a case which rules out further second bites at the cherry unless there are significant changes in circumstances and further financial relief orders are difficult to obtain as a consequence of this decision of GVG in the Supreme Court. You can read the full decision of GVG on my website businessandlegal.ie my solicitor's website hope you find this video useful if you do i would appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below and you may be interested in subscribing to my youtube channel thanks a lot